you can now start to experiment with insert effects to add another dimension to your bass. The routing tab lets you see and configure the signal patch starting from the oscillators and noise generator through to the master output. Each oscillator can be routed in parallel to filter 1 and 2 simultaneously or in series to just filter 1 which then outputs to filter 2. Keep the oscillator's routing faders central to send them to filter 1 and 2. Then set the input fader to the filters to parallel. By working in parallel, you can use separate effects and filters to create two distinctly different tones. Then blend between them using the mix fader. Filter 1 will be the main bass sound, leaving the second to be an alternative tone. After setting the mix fader to filter 1, choosing a low pass type will allow you to remove higher frequencies while leaving the lower frequencies in place. For a brutal sound, choose the scream filter. Increase the resonance a little and move the cutoff with various scream amounts to hear the distorted filter in use. Insert effects 1 and 2 can be inserted into various points of the signal path. It's possible to pronounce the movement of a filter even more by adding distortion before it creating more frequencies to cut off. Under the routing tab, click the INS1 box before filter 1 and the INS2 box before filter 2. The last three effect types are various distortions, which are best experimented with to understand how they sound. Work with the effect at 100% wet and turn up the drive until you hear a lot more higher frequencies without losing the original lower tone too much. Then, set the effect back to dry, get used to its original sound again, then blend in the effect until you're happy with the balance. Also, Move the cutoff frequency for filter 1 to get an idea of how effective the distortion has been to aid its pronunciation when altered. After you've grasped basic LFO modulation later, you can always set it up at this stage to have the filter's cutoff move while you tweak oscillator, effects and filter settings. If your bass still needs more grit, choose a loop from the noise generator's table menu. Then adjust its pitch using the colour control and blend it to taste with the amp control. The feedback control redirects the signal from a chosen point after filter 1 back to the filter inputs to create a feedback effect. Clicking the FB box at the end of the amp section will help pronounce the attack and decay of the amp envelope with an analog style low end boost creating a heavier sounding low tone if required. To work on your second tone, set the filter mix to filter 2 and choose a different filter type and effect on insert 2. The filter can be any type regardless of how much low end will be there, as this is your secondary tone. So experiment with strong resonance values and each filter type to get an idea of how they can shape your sound.
you should now have a very distinct tone on each filter, with the option to move between them for easy variation using the mix control. There are two master effects just before the master volume control in the signal path. They run in series from effect 1 to effect 2, followed by the master EQ. When adding anything here, be careful to reduce your master volume to avoid peeking into the red and causing any unwanted clipping to the signal. You can add further distortion, delays, reverbs and frequency modulation effects like flanger, phaser and chorus to take your tone another step further. More distortion will help make the sound stick out to the speakers even more, but at the same time, risk making the signal too flat in dynamics if pushed too far. You can, however, counteract this by lowering the sustain level for the amp's envelope to create more initial punch before the effect is applied. Frequency modulation effects like flanger, phaser and chorus can give a sound tonal movement, add stereo spread and also help it sit in the mix by pushing it further back into the sound stage when used in moderation. Reverb and delay do a similar job but without the tonal movement. A very popular effect used for bass is the Dimension Expander, which makes you sound wider without losing the sharpness and focus associated with frequency modulation effects. It can really help your instrument sound strong on its own without the tonal change associated with detuning oscillators too. The choice of master effects can help create a unique sonic signature to each bass if you plan to use more than one instance.